I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and this is my spoiler-free review on Studio 666. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, this little short. Let's get right into it. If you're a Foo Fighters fan, I guarantee you, you'll have a lot of fun with this film. This mixes the Foo Fighters with a horror comedy possession film. We follow the Foo Fighters as they enter this abandoned house that has a very eerie past to it to record their 10th studio album. But things take a quick turn as the band soon realizes people were murdered in the house. As the band tries to record their 10th studio album, they have a lot of writer's box, specifically Dave Grohl, and eventually comes to find out that his writer block is solved after he gets inspired one night and wants to complete a new song for the Foo Fighters. It's got amazing cameos in it. It's got a fun vibe to it. If you're a fan of possession horror films, you're going to have a lot of fun with this movie. But don't go into this movie thinking it's going to be the best horror film of all time. It is a very fun horror film, and the Foo Fighters are great in it. But uh, it does lack a couple things in the story. However, it didn't matter because I had a fun time watching this film regardless. Studio 666 out in theaters right now. Go buy your tickets. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just had a lot of fun watching this film and wanted to share my thoughts. Full spoiler review coming on the channel tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and I'll see you guys next time for another spoiler-free movie review.